If all our government and president can do is send thoughts and prayers, then it's time for victims to be the change that we need to see. Powerful words coming from student survivors of the horrific Florida school shooting. They are pushing for change at a gun control rally today, and they're challenging politicians and singling out President Donald Trump to do more to keep kids safe. The fact that all of you are out here today is showing that this is a turning point in American history, and we are not going to let Because of these gun laws, people that I know, people that I love have died, and I will never be able to see them again. Students, school officials, and local leaders taking to the mic outside the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. Ban assault weapons in the state. The weapon, an AR-15 used in the school attack that left 17 people dead and 14 others hurt, was purchased legally by the suspected shooter a year ago. There has been one tweet that I would like to call attention to. A passionate plea coming from student Emma Gonzalez, who hit back at a tweet posted by Donald Trump after the shooting. So many signs that the Florida shooter was mentally disturbed, even expelled for bad and erratic behavior. Neighbors and classmates knew he was a big problem, must always report such instances to authorities again and again. We did, time and time again. Since he was in middle school, it was no surprise to anyone who knew him to hear that he was the shooter. Those talking about how we should have not ostracized him, you didn't know this kid! Okay, we did! We know that they are claiming that there are mental health issues, and I am not a psychologist, but we need to pay attention to the fact that this isn't just a mental health issue. He wouldn't have harmed that many students with a knife! Yesterday, the FBI made the stunning admission that it failed to act on a tip it received about the suspected gunman just weeks before the shooting. As for Trump, he and the First Lady met with some of the victims and first responders in Florida yesterday. And ahead of today's rally calling for gun control, the Miami gun show opened not far from the site of the school shooting. Among the weapons being sold, AR-15s, the same gun used in the attack just days ago. Organizers say there's no disrespect intended for the victims by this long-planned gun show, and they insist on gun safety being a priority. As for the shooting suspect, a lawyer for him says the 19-year-old is willing to plead guilty to avoid the death penalty and a trial.